In this video, we shall see the procedure to install patch on Spectrum. The environment would be all releases of Spectrum running on supported platforms. To install patch, you would need to refer the release notes provided along with the patch. The release notes would normally be named release note.ptf underscore patch number or release note.d patch number where d stands for debugging. A PTF patch is expected to contain fix to address the issue usually described in the symptom field in the release notes whereas a debug patch contains debug libraries that outputs debug to log files through which we gather additional data to troubleshoot an issue. At times, debug patch may contain fix as well as described in the overview section in the release notes. As a best practice, create a new empty directory for each individual patch, save the patch files in and run the installation from that directory. PTF or debug patch installation executable will backup files that are going to be replaced and create uninstall executables in the directory. When you have the individual patch directory, it will be easier just in case rollback is necessary. Let's have a quick look at the demo part now. Okay, so in this video, we shall be installing a patch on Spectrum version 10.2.2. Here we have the Spectrum control panel and from here you could click on help and about to confirm that the release we are on is Spectrum 10.2.2. Also note that I have stopped the Spectro server just to save time. Okay, Now the patch I intend to install is PTF 10.2.202 and I have already created a folder inside the Win32 app called as patches and this is the patch I would like to install. So I have created a new folder inside that I have created another folder with the patch files. Now before I go ahead and install the patch, the first thing I need to have a look is the release notes. Now the release notes, I would open them, I would open it with the word pad. The requirements, have a look at this, the prerequisites are 10.2 and 10.2.2. The patch needs to be installed on Spectro server. This is the overview section which defines the problem, the symptom and the solution which this patch is meant to resolve. Now it says that we need to shut down the Spectro server which I have already did to save the time. Now remember when it says to shut down the Spectro server we also need to stop the ProcessD service which I haven't stopped. So let me open the bash shell quickly. Go to the SDPM folder and from here I would go ahead and stop the ProcessD. You could also stop the process D. If you are on Windows box like me, you could open the services.msc and from here you can find out Spectrum. Okay? Since I have already issued the command to stop the process D from the bash shell, we can see that it's it's been stopped right now. Okay? So you could also stop from the services.msc or you could use the bash shell to stop the process D. Now I have stopped the ProcessD service. Now let me have a look at the release notes again. It says that after we shut down the Spectro server, we need to go into the bash shell and we have to run this command. Okay, bash shell is already open for me. Let me go to the folder where I have copied the patches. So it's inside the patches folder, Spectrum and it should be spectrum 10.2 okay this is the command I need to run in so I'll hit on enter it says the installation is success and it also asks us to refer the installation logs so I'll click on OK and you could see additional files getting created this is the uninstall executable file in case you have to uninstall the patch you have to run this particular uninstall option now let me open this log file and you could see that it has found something, it has copied the information 
and it has also updated the dot history file there are no errors inside the log file which is a good indication that the patch has installed successfully now let me go to the spectrum install hyphen tools let's have a relook at the dot history file you could see a new entry now ptf 10.2.202 has been installed successfully now once done we have to start the Spectro server, I believe. Let us have a look at the post installation instructions. Yes, it says that we have to start the Spectro server. So here I am. Now before I start the Spectro server, I need to first start the process D service. So here I go back and the process D dot PL start. You may also start it from here, from the services.msc. You could click on the start service to start the process daemon. Now since I have initiated the command, it is starting right now. Okay, all good. Both are up and running. You could go ahead and now start the Spectro server here. Now this is no longer grayed out. I'll start the Spectro server. I hope the video is very simple on how to install a patch. And let me just continue further. If you need to uninstall the patch, the procedure would be simple. Okay, shut down the Spectro server. That means that you have to again stop the Spectro server. You have to stop the process D daemon, process D service as well. Then go to the folder and then the file which we saw uninstall here, Win32 app, patches. This is the file you would need to run to uninstall the patch. Hope this video clears the information on how to install the patch. Thank you. For more information on this topic, please click on the information bubble on the top right corner to load the product panel. From there you can go to the product documentation, visit CA communities or see the learning paths. Thank you for watching this video.